Hello everyone. So today we're going to be starting our first dynamic programming algorithm. Uh, what is a dynamic programming by the way? Dynamic programming is a really efficient type of programming where you use bottom bottom up approach and well it is like a substitute for memoization and recursion because you know it needs overlapping sub problems and optimal substructure to work like you can't just use dynamic programming on any algorithm it has to have these two criteria fulfilled okay so the first algorithm that we we're going to be doing is the, finding out the longest common subsequence which is a really um, easy kind of algorithm it's like solving a puzzle and the main function of longest common subsequence is when you have two strings like uh, it's used usually during you know dna sequencing and all that so when you have two strings two dna sequence like atg and atgcd and gcd so the common subsequence is gcd from these two strings so uh, this is like this algorithm helps us to find out the common subsequence and also the length of the longest common subsequence okay to start off let's look at the algorithm first this is the algorithm when the character at one string matches the character at the other that time you increment the one that's at this number of cell and the, by one and then if if it does not match then you just take the maximum from this number of cell and this number of cell and then write down in that cell okay so you'll understand it after i do the walk through okay so these are the two strings that we're going to be working with bdcab and abcb now notice that we have an extra row and extra column for each of these strings so uh oh, so yeah so first we have to fill all these rows with zero so zero 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 now we're not supposed to fill this with the color like that you have to refill it with zero also so zero as well okay so the string the character of this string and that string uh, so we just match first see if it matches if it does not match then we just take the maximum of this number of cell and this number of cell c i minus one j and see j minus 1 i the maximum of these two will put it here so a and b do not match we take the maximum from either of these two let's take from the upper one so zero uh, we're supposed to use an upward and leftward array uh, sorry arrow so just do that okay we took the zero from this one now the arrows determine where you took the maximum from so I took the maximum from the upper cell. It does not matter. You can take from the left side cell as well because these two are both are zeros. So maximum will be any of them. So yeah, we took this one as zero, the upper, uh, this one as the maximum. And then A and D do not match. Let's take maximum from this side. So zero. And then A and C do not match. match. Let's take the maximum from this side. Zero. A and A matches. So this time the arrow will be like this. So the arrow will point diagonally that way because what we're doing is we're incrementing the number at this cell by 1. So 0 plus 1 is 1. The number at this is so C I minus 1, J minus 1. This is the number at this cell. Okay, so A and B do not match. So we take maximum from here. So 1. Um, and then the, moving on, B and B matches. So we take we increment this number by one so one b and d do not match take the maximum from this side one b oh, okay one just raise that all right B and D do not match, take the maximum from this side, so 1. B and C do not match, so maximum from here, so 1. B and A doesn't match, take the maximum from this time because I'm getting tired of the left side, so 1. B and B matches, 
take the maximum increment the number at this cell by one so we get one plus one equals two C and B do, uh, do not match take the maximum from the upper cell one we take the maximum from this cell and this cell. just remember just look at the form look at the formula check the formula or the algorithm if you may uh, in the beginning you might not remember but you know after doing this a couple of times you'll get the hang of it okay C and D do not match take the maximum from here so one C and C matches increment this the number of this cell by one we get two and C and A do not match take the maximum from this cell two C and B do not match maximum from this cell two B and B matches increment by increment zero by one we get one B and D doesn't match we take the maximum one B and C do not match, take the maximum one, uh, 2, A and B do not match, take the maximum 2, B and B matches, increment the number of this cell by 1, we get 3. So the length of the longest common subsequence, you get, that, get, at, get it at this, this number cell. So 3 is the length of the longest common subsequence, I mean look at it. B, D, C, A, B, A, B, C, B, B, C, B are the common, are the common number, uh, common strings, I mean common characters. So B, C, B is the longest common subsequence from these two strings. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to compute the, uh, the length, I mean the sequence itself. So let's compute the sequence. All right. Um, let me change the color. Okay. So now the arrows come into use. So notice this arrow. Whenever we reach uh, we reach an arrow, a diagonal kind of arrow, that time we'll note down the the, uh, the character at the this adjacent uh, row and column. So here we reach this arrow. So we note down this this one this character adjacent character so it's B okay then we follow the arrows now we reach this and then we reach this and then again we reach a, a what you call a diagonal arrow so we go up we reach this now note down the uh, character the, the characters of the corresponding row and column so C and then again we follow this arrow here and then we go here and then again we reach a diagonal arrow so then we note down the character at the corresponding one B and B so B and then we go up and then there's nowhere to go so this is the longest common subsequence so whenever you reach a diagonal arrow just you know mark it somehow whenever you reach a diagonal arrow and then whenever you go from the diagonal arrow towards another towards another you know cell like upwards whenever you go from the diagonal arrow upwards that time you note, note down the character corresponding to it and you'll see that it actually matches the row the character the row and the corresponding row and column it matches from here also when we move towards uh, upper side diagonally the character corresponding to the row and the column matches so we note it down B and then again we follow the arrow, we reach this, then we reach this. See, we're just pointing, we're just following the arrow pointing leftward or upward. And then we go again and then we notice that there's another diagonal arrow. Note down the corresponding row and column, go upwards and then follow the arrow. And then again we reach another diagonal arrow, note down the corresponding characters in the rows and columns. And then go upward and then we reach this and then well there is nowhere else to go no arrows pointing towards when we reach the terminating point when there is nowhere to go no arrows pointing anywhere we know that the algorithm is over so this is the longest common subsequence for this uh, for these two strings if you have any questions please post it in the comment section because I will be answering them all and if you have any sequence that you can't solve you can still post it in the comment section and well, thank you for watching. I hope you understood. Well, uh, one last minute thing. If you want to look at the algorithm, well, here it is. Uh, this is the simulation that we were doing. See the arrows. 
Okay, this is a really big string. B, D, C, A, B, A, and A, B, C, B, D, A, B. This would take a long time if I did a simulation of this thing, but it's the same thing. Look at the arrows. They're always, whenever, see, B and B matches. And then you increment the uh, number at this cell by one. So you just point the arrow here. And then whenever B and D, B and D does not match, you take the maximum from here. So the arrow was pointing leftward. Again, B and C do not match. Take the maximum from this cell and this cell. And the arrow was pointing leftward because you took the maximum from this cell. So yeah, it goes on that way. If you want to look at the simulation anymore, just pause this video and look at it and see. Try to figure it out. Try to match your answers with, with the ones you get. And well, yeah, that's about it. And then, oh yeah, the algorithm that I was going to show. Well, this is a simulation. Blah, blah. Okay, this is the algorithm. The running time of longest common subsequence is order of m into n as in the order of the number of order of row into uh sorry the number of row into the number of column will give you the it's like adjacency matrix uh, uh, complexity adjacency matrix the time compl uh, the time complexity is i mean the space complexity is um, n square right order of n square like the row into column will give you n square or v square but in this case uh, since the number of row and column may vary like uh, here there is this is the, the number of rows are like what four one two three four i mean excluding the extra one and the number of columns are what five excluding the extra one so and yeah uh, if you have a smaller string and a larger string it does not matter you can put the smaller string here also up in the in the upper section and the larger string in the left section it's your wish the answer will still come the same you know if the mat i mean if the uh, method that you're doing is this one. I mean, if you're doing the correct method. Anyway, well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and give a thumbs up to if you want more CS tutorials. And um, well, good luck. Bye bye.